Hello everybody. Uh, the first thing we're going to do here for our Glass Club video is we are going to select a new file and we're going to select the small objects in inches. We're going to go ahead and open that up. Our first shape we're going to use here is going to be our cylinder. So we're going to go ahead and you put this right in between the X and Y axes. We're going to go ahead and extrude that upward. Six inches should be fine for this, for the glass cup. Now we can change our viewport, or should I say, our render quality to shaded so that we can actually get a sense of this. And then we make sure our gumball is on because that's going to allow us to manipulate the shape or surface that we're using. And we're going to drag the window to transform so that we get more of a cup shape here. And our shell command will allow us to make this hollow. Now you can see the shape of the cup is really coming together now so we're going to go ahead and go to ghosted just so that we can give you an in-depth look on the inside of it and once we click the bottom of the cup and grab our surface we can extrude it up because cups actually the bottom isn't that deep it's a little more shallow than that And now we can turn this on so that we can get the outline of our curves better. It actually shows the outline, but however, the 3D shape actually has more of a curvature to it. So we can go back to our ray trace view here, which allows you to actually see that curvature despite our lines in the other view showing up how they were before we changed our settings. And now we can go ahead and add a material from our library to the cup to ultimately make it glass because right now it's just a solid white render material. So now we're going to draw a box so that we can actually get the water in our cup. We want our box to actually be bigger sideways or long ways for our box because what this will actually do is allow for our water to ultimately show up in the cup because all the excess parts will be deleted. With using the Boolean difference command, that'll help us out with this and then we can delete the rest of it. Now you can see that we actually have our water in the cup. So we can go back over to perspective so we can get a better look. And so here we're actually going to play around with our gumball boxes so that we can transform the object more and we can manipulate the shape of this. While using these boxes, the shape of the water will actually change on all sides, not just one side. So whether we drag it in or out, the entire object will change, not just one specific side of it. Now we can mess around with our transparency. and our other settings to make sure that our water actually looks correct.